Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Noelle and I do unboxings, mostly lifestyle subscription boxes, but also some stationery, books, beauty, jewelry, travel, home decor, and even the very occasional dash of Disney. So if you enjoy unboxings, I hope you'll consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the notification bell. And that way you'll find out whenever I post new videos, announce giveaways, or go live. And as always, if you're already subscribed, thank you so much for being here and welcome back. Today, I'm very happy to share with you my second box from Art. This is a subscription that comes all the way from Israel. Their tagline is the Holy Land Delivered. Just in case this is your first time seeing the box, let me go ahead and read the description for you. The subscription box that follows in the footsteps of Jesus and supports the people of Israel by delivering the best artisanal food, crafts, and content from across the Holy Land straight to your door. So this is a Christian subscription. It's also a historical travel subscription. It's a lifestyle box. But what I really love is the focus on the artisans that are part Part of it so I think they do a lovely job I was able to review their summer box that was focused on Galilee and that area and I thought it was so so lovely so I'm very happy that they sent this winter or Christmas box to me to share with all of you now if you are interested in subscribing the box is $74.99 per quarter but you can save 20% using the code Noel 20 and a link that I'll leave for you in the description box below and then obviously if you are able to do an annual subscription there are some extra savings and perks so let's go ahead and get into this box inside again it just says the Holy Land delivered so there's lots of sort of what I always call paperwork there's usually what they say is a nice collectible poster on top there's usually some um, postcards from around the area that they're featuring in that particular season as well as some postcards so let's go ahead and take a look at all of those so this is our first postcard right here and it's kind of a, a postcard that you wouldn't necessarily actually use because it tells you about the uh, image on the front so you can see See, for example this is telling us about manger square so you could definitely send that to someone but there's not much room for an actual message they're almost like more like collectible postcards then we also have an image of Jaffa the uh, just south of Tel Aviv is the ancient port city of Jaffa and then finally we have a recipe so I think this is uh, something they do in every box as well this is the walnut pecan halva cake so this is what that looks like something to aspire to and then of course it's got the uh, recipe here on the back so not really a postcard format now they do have a really active Facebook group and I was watching because in the fall box that I did not review I think there was a recipe and everybody was trying to get it just right and some people were having great success and some people not so much but it's kind of nice to be able to commiserate and give each other tips then here is our poster so it is on kind of nice cardstock and this one just says Christmas because again it is the Christmas box and then on the back we have all of this information so I feel like these would actually be kind of fun if you got this as a family box to experience if you laminated these and kind of use them as placemats at your table I think that would be kind of cool so it says Merry Christmas we hope this note finds you and your families well at this incredibly special time of year Christmas is nearly upon us and we at Artsa couldn't be more excited there's nothing like seeing the old city of Jaffa adorned in Christmas lights and trees go up in Nazareth and Bethlehem there's nothing like visiting our our favorite artisans in Bethlehem as they rush to fulfill their olive wood Christmas ornaments and most importantly there's nothing like seeing the looks of joy on our Artsa family's faces when they gift or receive an Artsa box under the tree. This Christmas we decided to deviate a bit from our normal journey through the Holy Land and instead we've curated a special hand-picked Christmas box. The Christmas box is meant to give you a taste of some of our favorite artisans from across the Holy Land so you experience Christmas treasures from multiple places that each played their own important roles in Jesus's life. There's amazing crafts and treats from Bethlehem, the city where Jesus was born. Nazareth, the city where Jesus grew up, and of course Jerusalem, the city where he rose. For many of our artisans, this was their largest order ever, so, so know as you enjoy these special gifts that you have directly supported amazing small businesses across the Holy Land. Again, I think that is so cool. You've made theirs and their families' holidays more joyful with your support. This Christmas, we couldn't help but think of a verse from Matthew 4.16, quoting Isaiah, the people dwelling in darkness have seen a great light, and for those dwelling in the region and shadow of death, on them a light has dawned. As we look at the lights adorning Bethlehem, Jaffa, and Nazareth, we hope that in a year that at times we hope that in a year that at times has seemed dark, we find ways to let the light in, and that as we look to a new year, you and your loved ones feel the warmth of light, feel the warm light of community, faith, and friendship, which our Artsa family shines on our lives each day anew. That is awesome, and they actually have some like Hebrew at the bottom for you to like learn, so I won't try that because uh, I've already been reading to you quite a bit. 
And then finally, or like the third component of the paperwork is these nice artisan cards. So they're always kind of banded together. So there is one card that sort of summarizes the box. So here's our Christmas box, and then it tells you what is in the box on the back. So I will kind of prop that up in front of me. And then they actually have these individual cards that tell you about the artisans that created the items. So we get a little information about them on the front, like quick stats, and then on the back we get like their story. So I will do my best to read some of this to you, um, but maybe not all of it, just because I know that that takes a long time. So let's go ahead and get into the items in the box. So there's not like a ton of packing, but hopefully nothing in here is too fragile. I will say I've been always very impressed with how quickly the box arrives, but also like in, in pretty good condition for the most part. So the first thing I see is just in a plain white box. So I'm gonna go ahead and open that up and see if I can figure out what this is. Ooh, this is a nice little, um, it's a wood ornament, but mine is broken, which is a bummer. So this is a surprise olive wood ornament from Bethlehem that was kind of uh, spoiled there in their, in their message but maybe I can glue it together. So this is what this looks like. Let me see if I can figure out how that's supposed to go together. So I can probably super glue this little uh, half circle back on there. Um, hopefully I can, but this is really pretty and you can kind of see it's this three dimensional candle. So I think that is gorgeous. Just the olive wood grain is always really, really pretty. So I'll reach out to them and let them know. Now I have heard from some of you guys that are subscribed to Artsa that when you've received items that have been damaged in shipping that they've been really great about sending another one out to you. I won't necessarily um, trouble them with that because I do think it is pretty fixable, but I'll have to just uh, get creative with my glue. I'm trying to like press it together and thinking I'm magically gonna fix it right now. So let me see if there's any information about our olive wood ornament here. I think that might just be an extra because we just have four different um, artist cards. So let me see if I can just put that out in front of me so that I don't lose track of it. All right, we have something that is edible. Ooh, interesting. Pomegranate fruit and herbal infusion. This is interesting. I don't know what you use it for, but it's got all kinds of dried fruits in it. Dried pineapple, papaya, cranberries, hibiscus, pomegranate powder in it. So you guys will have to let me know what exactly this is for. So let me see if I can figure out what this is exactly. So pomegranate infusion. Enjoy this unique biblical blend of pomegranate goodness. Add it to hot or cold water and enjoy the sweet comforting tastes of all the way from Israel. I have never heard of that. That is so interesting. So um, I don't think this is necessarily on one of the cards either, but I'll have to put that off to the side. So it's kind of like a tea, but it looks like a granola to me. <laughs> All right. The one thing that is in some bubble wrap, and like probably should have been that ornament, is some halva. So okay, so this is something that I've like heard of, but honestly, I don't think I've actually ever had it. So this is pecan halva. It says this quintessential delicious Israel dessert can be enjoyed straight out of the jar or mixed in our mouth-watering desserts. So this is a pretty sig significant jar of this. So I don't know what that is exactly, but it's pecan. So I'm guessing it's kind of just like a nut butter is what it looks like. So it's almost like looks like it's you can see there's like whole pecans there in the bottom you guys so let me know what you're supposed to use it oh it's got from ethiopian sesame so is it like a tahini almost i'm very curious about what that is and what you're supposed to put on it but it get, must be like sweet because it says it goes into desserts so all right something else we got some handmade soap teresa is what it looks like so it's all wrapped up i won't necessarily open that up it says teresa handmade soap from the hills of nazareth teresa has once again created this natural or aromatic soap scrub to spoil you every time you bathe so i'm it feels like it's just a bar of soap not necessarily a scrub even though that's how it was described but let me see if i can find this on here i don't think this is on here either so eventually we're going to get to something that was created by an artisan where i have a card to read a little bit of information to you so ooh, this is exciting you guys so it says holy cacao that's pretty cute right instead of holy cow bean to bar chocolate we got a pumpkin spice flavored one that sounds delicious and we also got a love flavored one which is a white chocolate bar now I can feel inside that these are all like broken so I'm not gonna open them because I think that they will like kind of crumble on me but this is really exciting that we got some chocolate you guys let's see holy cacao chocolate two exclusive new flavors created for Artsa by the talented Joe artisan and founder of holy cacao that is so cool you guys so finally I do have an artisan card to read to you so this is Joe 
uh, Joe Zander, and it says, Joe Zander is a third generation culinary artisan and comes from a family of bakers. When he moved to Israel more than a decade ago, he sought out high quality artisanal chocolate, but was disappointed in what he found in the local market. So he decided to do something about it. And that's how Holy Cocoa was born. This is Holy Cocoa. Now considered the finest chocolate in all of Israel, Holy Cocoa has prepared two amazing new flavors, especially for Artsa this holiday season. Um, one, a pumpkin spice is a nod to the American fall and winter season, and the other is a uniquely Israeli flavor called Salav, which is which includes flavors of orange, cinnamon, and rose blossom combined with delicious white chocolate. These chocolates are sure to impress and cannot be found anywhere other than in your Artsa box. That is so cool. So I think this is a little typo on here because on the actual label it does say holy cacao, which of course is like a fun little play on words. So by the way guys let's go ahead and make that our secret password not cacao but chocolate chocolate is going to be our secret password and in case you don't know what i'm talking about we are doing a secret password giveaway and there are details in the google form link that i'll leave for you in the description box below so let's see if we can find some more artisan stories to talk about so this says this has a beautiful um, quote on it. So it says, May the Lord shine his face upon you and treat you graciously. Um, may the Lord lift his face towards you and grant you peace. So this is what this is. So it says it's by Noah Atias. So here's the box. And then there's like a little bio about her on the back. So it says, My name is Noah and I'm the mother of five who recently opened a small studio in Israel. I'm so honored to deliver a small piece of the Holy Land to you, my new friends across the world. So, huh, I'm not sure what this is it's a she's a paper cut artist so i believe that this is an extra item for premium subscribers so not necessarily everyone would have received this but let me see if i can slice this open i'm not sure exactly what this paper art is but i am very much intrigued I'm a little bit bummed about the ornament, but it is not something like glass where I, there's no way I could glue it together. So that's okay. Oh, what is this? So it's, oh, I love that it's already framed, you guys. I love when we get art that's already framed. Now, I'm very picky about art because I feel like it's such a personal thing and I have such limited space in my house, but this is beautiful. So it's a paper cutout, but then they put a watercolor behind it. So it does have some dimension and it just says, peace unto your home. And it's got these doves. Isn't that really pretty, you guys? And again, I love that it came framed and it does have a little hook so you can hang it on your wall. I think this is lovely to have like kind of by your door or to gift to someone as a housewarming gift. Um, and I love that it's kind of like a little bit more neutral. It's not necessarily something that has scripture on it. So I feel like it can be appreciated by a lot of people. This is truly, truly gorgeous. I'm really excited about that. I was kind of hoping that there'd be like a little bit more information about it, but maybe, um, maybe we'll have to just read more but the bio from the from the um box so then we got a fantastic holy land hand created coloring book by tali taisia melter so this is always fun people love their adult coloring books still it's like a trend that has not gone away so we do have some information about this but holy land so it does tell us a little bit about like stories and christmas and nazareth and then on the facing page it's got an image that you can color so again this is an example of not even necessarily an adult coloring book i feel like this could be enjoyed by um any age so something kind of educational but also something that you can have as a family item in the box so let's see what it says about this uh, Tali Melter, let me see if there's a picture of Tali. It says, is an artist born in Russia who emigrated to Israel along with millions of Jews from the Soviet Union. Many years ago, while visiting a friend in Paris, she noticed her friend's daughter filling in a coloring book of Paris. When she asked the friend why her daughter was coloring familiar scenes of her own city, she received a starting, le starting reply. It is important to learn to love where you come from, the mom said. At that moment, Tali found her calling. She would create a coloring book whose scenes would help others learn to learn Learn to love where you come from. She traveled up and down the country, drawing scenes of the country she loved with the hope that the coloring book would become a cam become a canvas on which people can express their own love for the Holy Land. We hope that with each picture you finish, you immerse yourself in Israel's beauty and bring it to life in color. So it'd be kind of fun because you could find these images like online to figure out what the actual colors of the buildings are and then recreate it in your own coloring book. So that's kind of a cool item for sure. And then we have, I think a little bit more, you guys. Let's see what we have. 
It looks like we have still more art, but this is not necessarily framed. So it is like shrink wrapped. So let me see if I can get into this carefully. I'm a little bit, little bit worried. Oh, we do have some information about the uh, halva though. So I will go back to that in just a moment. So it wasn't totally clear to me looking at the back of the cards, um, which, which cards went with which items because some of the items don't have an artisan card necessarily. So I'm trying to get into this, but again, it is art on the front part, so I don't want to uh, run the risk of gouging it or bending it or crinkling it in any way. Let me see if I can get my scissors to puncture that shrink wrap. I finally managed to get in there. Thank you for bearing with me, you guys. So it says, uh, it's, I'm not sure if it's Tamar. Tamar Yair grew up in a small kibbutz called Mitzpe Shalom, the lookout point of peace near the Dead Sea. So here is a picture of Tamar. As a child, she would often pick up her paintbrush and take inspiration from the beautiful vistas that surrounded her. You might say that her art was nourished by the colors and textures of the ancient Judean de desert. That land of Israel was her teacher, inspiration, and canvas. Today, even though she has since moved out of the kibbutz, that same inspiration carries over into her artwork. As Tamar says, my art is a piece of my heart and knowing that my paintings would bring someone else joy, that makes me feel blessed. For Artsa, Tamar has painted three of her favorite places in Israel. We hope that they make you feel as blessed to receive them as they make Tamar feel to create them. So here are these beautiful images. And then it does have a quote, a Bible verse on the bottom. Out of his heart will flow rivers of living water. John 7, 38. Here is that first image. Then we also got another one that says, He turned the desert into pools of water on, and the parched ground into flowing springs. That's Psalms 107, 35. Beautiful. Love these watercolors. The, the color is so vibrant. And then finally, as water reflects the face, so one's life reflects the heart. Proverbs 27, 19. So these are pretty big big to frame and put up in your house. I probably wouldn't do an entire triptych just because I don't have that much space. And I, you guys know I'm not one to have like a lot of like Bible verses and scripture like up and around, but I think they are gorgeous images. It would have been nice probably to get something a little bit smaller, like little canvases or something. Um, although I realize that doesn't necessarily work with um, watercolor, but they are beautiful. It says three stunning paintings of the Holy Land's landscapes uh, adorned with Bible verses. And then let's read a little bit about our halva. So this is by Eli Maman. So here is Eli working on it. It says, you might say that for Eli Maman, halva runs in his blood. After all, he is the third generation to work in the halva business, creating delicious treats according to a secret family recipe that people travel far and wide to enjoy. Uh, Eli's grandfather started making halva in Morocco and brought his tradecraft to Israel after he was forced to flee Morocco following the establishment of the state of Israel in 1948. Today, Eli runs the halva kingdom stall in Jerusalem famous machine Yehuda market where you can find makne, makne Yehuda, where you can find different flavors of halva stacked high and with a smile you'll find Eli there offering you a taste of one delicious flavor after another for Artza Eli has made an incredible incredible pecan halva which you can enjoy straight from the jar as a delicious dessert or use in our delicious Artza recipe so I believe that bread uh, in would include that so yes so walnut pecan halva cake so you definitely need that halva uh, to go into that recipe so so it's nice that they gave us something that we can actually use right away. So let's just go over everything that we received. Not only did we get our nice uh, placemat or poster, we got our three postcards, one of which is more of a recipe. And then we got all of our nice artist cards, which I do like to hold onto these. I think it's really beautiful what they do. And then just in case you ever wanna like seek out those businesses again, we got our three stunning paintings um, from Tamar. These, I really love this like seascape one. It's very peaceful. We got our Holy Land tour coloring book. Uh, we got our pomegranate infused which I think is very interesting. It's like a tea kind of. Our pecan halva, our Teresa handmade soap, which smells amazing, so good. We got our olive wood ornament from Bethlehem. It says, bring the place where Jesus was born to your home this Christmas with these magnificent hand-carved olive wood ornaments from olive wood dating over 150 years old. Oh my goodness, that's it's so pretty. I'm, I'm gonna have to put it back together. And then our holy cacao chocolate, my favorite item for sure. It does say surprise olive wood ornament from Bethlehem. So I'm assuming that's just like a repeat of even though it has its own bullets. And then finally, that extra thing for premium subscribers was the uh, home blessing, which I, I do think is really nice. So um, I was kind of thinking at first, like it's kind of weird to get multiple art pieces. But again, this is just a bonus. And I love this again, that it was framed. So let me know what you guys thought about this art 
starts a box. I think it is a really cool subscription, pretty well priced, especially considering where it's coming from. And I think that the curation that they do, the work that they do with the artisans there in Israel is phenomenal. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please do give it a thumbs up and I will see you all very, very soon in my next unboxing.